This video is going to be like if I was talking to my past self and telling me everything that I needed to know to be successful in computer science. Happy Friday everybody. Hopefully it's Friday because that would mean that I successfully posted Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for an entire week. Who do I think I am, a YouTuber? So first off, if you're new here, my name is Kazim and I post college programming and lifestyle videos here on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe down below and give me a like before we even get started. So I am a third year computer science major student and all that really means is that I have a little experience of what computer science entails. So I'm low key trying to warn y'all before y'all dive into this major. No, I'm just kidding. But what this video is gonna be about is just me telling you a lot of the things that you'll face in computer science good or bad. So firstly, let's just get this out of the way now. Let's just get this out of the way. You are going to make money. You're going to make a lot of money. Financial stability is a huge factor for a lot of people. So why not just be real? Computer science, there's a plenty of jobs where you can make a lot of money. And I just posted a video on my channel of 10 different jobs you can get with a computer science degree. So make sure you go check out that video after this one. But yeah, money, if it's money you're worried about, you're in the right major you ain't got to worry about that so computer science is a very hard major and you know we just talked about money right now it doesn't make the big bucks for no reason you have to be able to develop the skills necessary to be able to learn and really apply yourself so you are going to face many challenges um, this is no secret everybody struggles at some point um, obviously if you have a background in computer science and programming then it's going to be easier for you but even those people i know a lot of people like that and they're still struggling at some point during their computer science journey so you have to be able to pick yourself up and really just keep on going and keep moving forward because the thing about cs especially if you're like me and you didn't have any background in computer science when first coming to college is you are going to spend a bunch of time figuring out what you're actually doing wrong like what mistakes are you making why are you getting this bug why are you getting this error before you actually begin to finally start learning and being able to do things on your own and it can be really really frustrating sometimes like constantly having to go back and forth like dang this here i am again another bug my compiler is crashing what is going on but at these moments is when you really have to dig deep and you have to ask yourself why did I major in computer science in the first place? Why do I even want to do this? And that's what's going to really push you to overcome any challenges that you have and any obstacles that you're facing. So start looking for internships ASAP. I don't care what anybody says. So you're a freshman, great. Start looking for internships. I think the biggest thing that I've heard was like, oh, you're a freshman, it's okay. Um, you have time to get an internship. You could get it your third year. You could get it, you know, you could get it later. No, 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 no. Start looking for internships ASAP. The thing is, you want to get experience for the real world. Yeah, obviously you're going to be learning, but if you can be able to apply what you're learning in school and get an internship, things are going to be much more smoother for you. And the thing is, as a freshman, as a second year, you're not expected to know everything because you're a freshman and a second year in college. So it makes it even easier for you to get internships because they're not expecting as much from you. So if you can get these internships from companies then this can gear you up and prepare you for when it's time to actually get a job outside of college ding 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 that's what we want <laughs> that's the whole purpose we want to get the job that's the end goal so and the best way to do that is to have this experience from internships so my point is start looking for internships right away and another thing is it can be from any company it could be from a local company that you're interested in it could be for a company that you're passionate about it can be for a big fame company it doesn't matter what it is you can get into any company that you want to you can accomplish any goal that you have you just have to have a plan in place and that's another thing that i feel like i didn't really understand i didn't grasp that concept like i can get into any company that i want to i just have to put in the work like i really thought like um getting an internship to amazon was just unattainable like that's just not even a question that's how i felt about it but that's not true that's not reality if you put in the hard work you will see it pay off and you will see results you can apply what you learn from this major to the real world right away yes obviously you will be learning about computer science theory and the background and you know the full concepts and all of that but the thing is you can literally leave a lecture a programming lecture 
and then apply what you know right away. Like you can learn about data structures and algorithm and then go outside of school and start implementing these things right away. Like you don't have to just learn, 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 learn. And then when college is over, you get a job and then you can start applying. No, you can apply it right away. And you see it all the time, people doing mini projects or you know, working on a website or working front end, back end and applying what they know is because you can do that with computer science. You know, I'm a college student, but I'm still doing many projects and I'm still working on all of these things and having videos about it. It's because I'm taking what I've learned throughout these three years that I've been here and I'm putting that into things I wanna do. And another thing that I would say too is don't wait to start implementing what you learn. You should be actively practicing programming because it's only gonna help you and it's only gonna allow you to be more successful in the future. So now, this is a big one. And I know this is kind of general, but start early with everything, y'all. Start early with everything. Projects, assignments, it doesn't matter what it is. Start early, y'all. I'm still struggling with this to this day. I still have moments where I'm pushing back an assignment and doing it last minute. And it's a terrible habit. It's really bad, especially in computer science, because it doesn't allow you to perform at your best potential like you'll submit that assignment knowing okay I could have done way better and I could probably could have you know finished all aspects of it and made it as optimal as it could have been but because I didn't give myself enough time to do this assignment <laughs> I think the thing with procrastination is just like you want to do it but it's you're dealing with a lot of stuff maybe or it's just stressful so you just push it back not necessarily like you're a bad student or anything it's just that you just don't want to have to worry about it so you push it back to the last minute but try your best not to do that i guarantee it's going to help you out so much if you just plan your days ahead of time i'm going to understand this project for an entire day the next day i'm going to actually start working on it and so on and so forth also like i said if you're anything like me and you didn't have any computer science background when coming into college you can afford to <laughs> procrastinate like you don't you already don't know this stuff so you really need to give yourself time to really know it after starting and going through your journey of computer science you're going to learn many skills i'm talking critical thinking analytical thinking thinking creatively problem solving and once again all of these can be applied to the real world i can't tell you how many times that i just found myself just thinking critically and then realizing that I wouldn't have even thought that way if I didn't, if I wasn't a computer science student, to be honest. And that's another thing that I love about CS as well, is you're always stimulating your mind. You know, you're learning something new, something harder, more difficult than what you previously learned. And for me personally, I felt like computer science and programming was right for me because I'm a very creative person. And I feel like in CS, you really have to think creatively when solving a problem. You literally find yourself like, okay, from everything that I know, what can I pull from to get to my problem? And that's all creative thinking and a creative process. And lastly, what I can say to you is to subscribe to my channel. I'm on this road, I'm on this journey to becoming a software engineer and I can be used as a resource. And I'm always sharing my experiences as well as helpful tips and advice for anybody out there who is trying to do something similar to what I'm trying to do. And I'm always trying to learn too. So as I learn, I keep sharing and the cycle just continues. Everybody wins, everybody learns. It's a win-win situation. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, I'm posting Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So make sure you are subscribed and you turn on that post notification so you don't miss out when I post these new, helpful, informational videos. So that's pretty much it. Happy Friday. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.